Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the stages of the water cycle. In a previous video we saw that water is an abiotic factor that affects communities. And remember that abiotic means not living. So in this video we're looking at how water cycled around ecosystems. Almost all of the water on earth is found in the oceans and this is salt water. Energy from the sun causes the water to evaporate from the surface of the sea. The water vapour now travels into the air and cools down. When it cools, the water vapour condenses to form clouds. The water in clouds then falls to the ground as precipitation. Precipitation includes rain and snow, as well as hail and sleet. Now one key idea that you need to understand is that all forms of precipitation contain fresh water. In other words, this water does not contain salt. Once the water hits the ground, some of it simply evaporates back into the atmosphere as water vapour. Some of the water passes through rocks and forms aquifers. And a lot of the water forms rivers or streams. The water in rivers and streams eventually drains back into the sea. Now living organisms also play a role in the water cycle. Firstly, plants take up water in their roots and this water moves up the plant in the xylem and passes out of the leaves through stomata as water vapour. And remember that scientists call this process transpiration. Animals take in water through drinking and in their food. Animals release water in their urine, in their faeces and when they exhale. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the water cycle in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.